Welcome back everybody. In this question, we're told that a triangle has a base length of 3x plus 4 and a height of 4x minus 2. If the base is tripled and the height is halved, write an expression for the change in the triangle's area. So an expression for the change in area is going to be what? It's basically going to be the new area of the triangle minus the old area of the triangle. So let's start off by drawing what we have here. So we're told that a triangle has a base length of 3x plus 4. Then we're told that the height of it is 4x minus 2. So notice that we can get an expression for the area of this triangle. And this is the old triangle. This is the original triangle. Because after what we're going to do is we're going to take this base and we're going to triple it. And then we're going to take this height and we're going to multiply it by a half. And that would be the new triangle. But for now, let's just work with the old triangle. So the old area is the area of a triangle in general base times height divided by 2. Or we can rewrite it as 1 half base times height. All right, so I'm going to use this over here. So 1 half times the base of the triangle, which is 3x plus 4, times the height of the triangle, which is 4x minus 2. So what we can do, we can FOIL out these two brackets. When we do that, we would end up with 12x squared. This would be minus 6x plus 16x, which would give us positive 10x. This would be minus 8. All right, so minus, let me just double check this. Um, minus 6x plus 16x gives us positive 10x in the middle. Then we have this 1 half here in front. We could distribute the 1 half inside the bracket. 1 half times 12 gives us 6, and that's x squared still. This would be 5x minus 4. So basically, everything is multiplied by a half. So that there is the expression for the old area of the old triangle. Now, what about the new triangle? Now, this uh, drawing is not going to be to scale, but basically what's happening is we're taking the base of the triangle, of this triangle, and we're tripling it. So we're multiplying it by 3. And then the height, we are multiplying it by a half. We're halving it. And the original height is 4x minus 2. So actually, let's split these up. So the new area, it's going to be what? It's going to be 1 half times the new base, which is a 3, bracket 3x plus 4. So we could distribute this 3 inside the bracket. So the, uh, the base would be 9x plus 12. That's going to be the base of the new triangle. And then we could distribute this half inside the bracket to get the height of the new triangle. 1 half times 4 is 2. There's a 2x there. Minus 1. Negative 2 times a half is minus 1. And now, at this point, what we can do is we can uh, FOIL out these two brackets just like we did here. So this would be uh, 18x squared minus 9x plus 24x would give us um, positive 15x. And this would be minus 12. So I think that works. Minus 9 plus 24. Yeah, that gives us 15 there. Right? And then we can distribute the 1 half inside the bracket. So this would be 9x squared. 15 times a half is just, uh, let's actually... Let's uh, use decimals, so 7.5x, then minus 6. So that there is the new area, the expression for the new area of the uh, triangle. So now, finally, we can um, 
we can find an expression for the change in area, which is the new area. So it's 9x squared plus 7.5x minus 6. And then we're going to be subtracting the old area, which is 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. And then we can um, distribute the negative inside the bracket. So we'd have minus 6x squared minus 5x plus 4. And uh, 9x squared minus 6x squared would give us 3x squared. 7.5x minus 5x gives us 2.5x. And then minus 6 plus 4 gives us minus 2. So that there is the final answer. That is the expression for the change in area. We took the new area, subtracted the old area. And remember, we tripled the base. So it becomes 9x plus 12. And then we took the height and multiplied it by a half, which gave us 2x minus 1. And then this, I uh, decided to use decimals. But you can use fractions, too. This could have been 15 over 2. And we would end up with 5 over 2 here instead of 2.5. But I just kept it as decimals. But either way, that is your final answer.